Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Spidey Studios here, and today we are here with a brand new video for the channel, my friends. This is Star Wars Jedi Survivor, the first nine minutes of gameplay. So, we got our first glimpse of Star Wars Jedi Survivor a couple months ago when they released the first trailer. We had heard, we had seen a, like a cinematic trailer before that, um, just like the first game, um, but it was more cryptic in the way that we didn't really know what the story entails. The trailer kind of gave us a little bit more, but not too much, which still is good because it gives us wanting to make the play the game more. So, I've been hearing a lot about the game the last few days and the last couple months. Unfortunately, the game was supposed to come out next month, but it was delayed six extra weeks. So now it's not coming out until April, I think. Uh, so yeah, the game's not coming out until April, which unfortunately sucks, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. So. We're going to watch this. As long as they make the game perfect and they get, <clears throat> they take the time to work on it and improve it, that's all I care about. So, I know that we have a lot of improvements from the first game as far as combat, as far as uh, the type of combat you'll be able to do, as far as lightsaber skills, as far as blasters, outfits, all that stuff. We got a lot to cover. But until then, I want to see what they give us. Now, just like the first game, the first game gave us a couple minutes of gameplay and then gave us like a 13 minutes worth of gameplay, but I guess they're just giving us nine minutes just to start. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is February's IGN first, and to kick it all off, we're introducing you to the world of Kobo, a brand new planet that Cal Kestis crash lands on early in the game after a secret mission he's involved with goes awry. Enjoy this look at nine minutes of gameplay on Kobo, and be sure to check IGN all throughout the month of February for much more Star Wars Jedi Survivor. First of all, it looks pretty much the same as the first game, but the graphics are amazing. Mind giving me a closer look? Oh, oh, cool! We can use him as a visor now. That is one big beast. One big beast. We have our target. Now let's reach it. Now let's reach it. That's cool. We can use BD1 as a visor now. I do like that Cal Kestis grew out a beard. A lot of people were saying that they felt like his baby face was odd, and then that he needed a beard when he got older. Last time I saw a Luke Holt was Bracca. A long time ago. Oh, that's a battle. That's a battle droid sphere. Oh, yes. Yeah, it pretty much still feels the same as the first game. Hopefully they do improve on some stuff. Oh, battle droids! Oh, double blade! Oh, yes. I'm using I'm using the double blade. That's going to be my go-to weapon. Oh! Cool. Yeah, pretty much still feels the same as the first game. Combat and everything. I mean, I guess it makes sense because the combat was pretty good, uh, so there wasn't much need. But I do think the whole edit does change. I think it changes depending on your playstyle or the lightsaber style. Ah. My battle droid. It sounds like the same ones from the movies and the Clone Wars as the voice actors. Ah. Yeah, it looks like we got some save force saves. Super battle droids. The fact that Cal can 
literally have a double-bladed lightsaber. Please, let's go. Split it up to use one to use a single blade. Or do you hear that? Do it. Oh, oh, dang. Call it in. Another one down. Raven. Nice. Who was it that they killed? Oh. oh! Damn it. Sorry, guys. It feels like... It feels basically the same as the first game, as far as combat goes. It doesn't feel like they changed much of it. Some of it does look different, but it feels like the same. Wow, that was dumb. Okay. Oh, what was that? And I like that he just, he just flips it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I like that it's, it's, it's what it does with the battle door, too. Depending on the battle door. You think I can do that, BD? Oh, wall? Or wall jumps? Oh, yes. We didn't have that in the first game.
hunter dudes. They're like taking battle droids and repurposing them. Oh, we can still do that. Yeah. I get it. They're weird things. I'd like to know what's in them too. But we don't have that kind of time or resource. So no. And please stop asking. And please stop asking. Interesting. Okay. Well, it looks like that's just about it. I enjoyed that. That was a lot that we got within nine minutes. Um, we got to really see the utilization of the different uh, lightsaber styles that you that you can go with. You can do single bladed, take the lightsabers apart, do single blade, or you can keep them apart and do dual wielding, or you can put them together and do double bladed. Personally, I prefer either single bladed or dual wielding, so those are the ones I will use the most. Um, it does look like from the, the bits of it, we don't get that much combat utilization. Like, like there's not a lot of different varieties of ways he fights, uh, but it still looks fun. It still looks dope. I do, I do like that, <clears throat> that we get so many different ways to fight now. But yeah, like I like the different power sets that we get. We get the freeze with the force, we get to force lift, which is very useful to push away. It'd be very useful to use that. Um, but yeah, man, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I loved the first game. Um, I'm gonna try my best if I can to replay the first game before it drops. Um, probably by the time I beat Hogwarts Legacy, we can probably get into that. Um, depending on how long it takes me, I might play Hogwarts Legacy as soon as I play. I might play Star Wars: Jedi Fallen Order after I beat God of War, but it depends on, like I said, how long it takes me to play those. But yeah, man, like I'm enjoying all of the game stuff we've been getting, and I've been enjoying all of the stuff that we got. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of this. I'm I'm really excited, man. I hope we get a lot of good stuff. I'm curious who the character. I'm curious, like, are we gonna see some characters? Because we're missing, like. Like we, we know that um that uh Seer is in the game. We know that, but we haven't seen Grease and we haven't seen um uh the uh, the Night Sister, Marin. We haven't seen her either. We haven't seen those characters. So I wonder if they're going to be in this game. I hope so. But we haven't seen them at all, so I wonder if we'll see them. Um we do know that we have a new side care uh, sidekick in a sense, Bode, but that's it. So I guess we'll find out. But I hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of this. If you guys did, let me know in the comments down below your favorite part of this game. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Hit the subscribe button to be part of the community and hit bell notifications so you guys know when I show post next. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.